Hello guys, this is Jackson from Rensushi.com. I'm going to show you guys a quick tutorial on how to create a time lapse from Lightroom. You're going to export it into After Effects, and I'm going to show you guys how to export everything and uh, make the sequence. So from here, what you're going to do is after you finish editing everything, you're going to select all of it. So Control All. I'm using Windows. So from here, you're going to go to Export this is really important from here you're gonna choose whatever folder you're gonna put it into whatever you're gonna call it and right here you're gonna rename to custom name sequence this is really important it has to be custom name sequence you're gonna name it time lapse or whatever it is you want to name it and start from number one so what this thing is gonna do is you're gonna start from number one so your file name is gonna be time one, your next file is going to be time two, it's going to go in a sequence. And from here, you're going to export it. So you can export it at whatever size you want to do it. But for me, I like to export it in like a 4K. So that way I could downsize it to 1080 if I want to, or I could just do a full 1080 or a full 4K resolution. So this right here, so that way it'll export a lot quicker, if, especially if you're using something that has a higher megapixel. After you finish doing that, just export, and this is going to take a while, so just go whatever, just let your machine run. So after that's done, I already made my sequence already, export everything. From here, I'm going to go to After Effects. And from After Effects, it's really easy. You're going to go in this little section right here, you're going to double click it, you're going to open up a new sequence. So from here, I'm going to go use the video that I already made, my sequence and my time lapse. So what I'm going to do right here is click on this and make sure it has this little box right here to check it says JPEG sequence. It will automatically know because it will be the same name but it will have numbers your sequence will go. Double click that and it will open. And from here you automatically have your setup right here your files are all imported in the sequence. You're going to take this, drop it on to this little film looking thing right here. And that right there will open up your new composition. And from here, you're going to right click, composition setting, and set it for whatever you want. So if I'm going to export it in 1080 at 24 or 29 frames per second, or you can make your own custom if you want to do that. So for here, it's already defaulted at 24 with 33, 40, 21, 60 but I'm going to go 1080 1080 at 24 frames per second and this will give me a total of 8 seconds press OK and what happened is it's going to be really zoomed in your 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 video obviously your your export is a lot bigger than 1080 if whatever you export it at it's really easy to fix all you have to do is come down here right click transform fit the comp and right there it will automatically fit everything in or if it's something if you want to move it around you could change it by moving that whatever you if you want to keep you know whatever you want but I find you know just fit the comp normally looks pretty good from here you can play it and do a little preview wait for it to load up it's gonna render but if you don't want to do that, you don't have to. But this is going to just be a quick tutorial on how to do that. So right after this is done, you got to wait a little bit. So wait in. So depending on how fast your computer is, my computer is pretty fast. So if your computer is a little bit slower, it might take a little bit longer so if you want to see how it's gonna look but from here you could skip this process if you want to to the next section so you can just fast forward this little section if you want but I'm going to just show you the little preview that it has so that way you could watch it so just in case if you did it with camera shake you could use a little like warp stabilizer or um, yeah warp stabilizer so that way it'll fix kinda of like the low shakiness just in case if it's windy using like a longer telephoto lens so this is just a quick one I just did this past weekend 
and you can see the little preview and from here it's real easy so once you have your composition everything set up you're gonna go to composition up here and you're gonna add to Adobe Media Encoder Cube this is real easy I find out if you try to export it or render it in I mean render it in After Effects is really not that good so Adobe gives you a free program called Adobe Media Encoder and this right here will pop up so you wait for this to show up and what you're gonna do is you're gonna drop this down you can look for anything you want on this you can set it for all different types of stuff so I found I since I post to YouTube anyways I could just use the YouTube 1080 you click on this it's gonna open up another window let me close this back here so it doesn't slow everything down okay so this will pop up right here so you could set this for every whatever you want to put if I find out like the 1080 is pretty good the format is h.264 which is good that's what it's gonna encode it to and it's it's really good for anything on the internet from here I know we would just click on use max maximum render quality and you could move move this around VR2 pass is normally pretty good but I just leave it where it is it you know my stuff comes out pretty good and they're gonna give it an estimate file size you just press OK and then you just go up here press play you just wait for this thing to load up it's, it's gonna render so since I already done this I just press stop you know you guys can just play it on through I'm just doing a little quick one for you guys and you just go look for wherever your file is going to be left at and you just watch it and here it is a quick tutorial on how to make a time lapse using Lightroom and Adobe After Effects hopefully this helps you